Hello and welcome to the start of the inventory system tutorial. This series will probably span over multiple videos, but we will try to get through it as quickly as possible. The final result will be a slot based inventory system with drag and drop capabilities, as well as the basics surrounding it, such as pickup actors, item details, etc. In the first video, we are simply going to be setting up some of the framework of the inventory itself and towards the end be able to populate the inventory widget with this loss from an inventory, as you can see here right now. If you learn anything from this video, if you enjoy this video or if you hate the video, please let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe if you want more videos and hit that like button if you enjoy. The very first thing that we're going to start with is a HUD. So we are going to open here, open a contract drawer, it's like a new folder, we're going to call this one inventory. And change the color to green on that. In here, we're going to make a new folder, we're going to call this one interface. Open that up. Right click anywhere you want, user interface, I'm going to call this one WVP HUD. Which is going to be our main, main display. Let's go open it and dock it, we're not going to do too much in there right now. After that. I'm going to select a new interface, widget blueprint, user interface. I'm going to call this one WVP inventory. Open that up and dock it. And then I want to make another one. I'm going to call this one WVP inventory slot. So we got all of these now. What I want to do is head back into your inventory folder. And I'm going to make a new blueprint. This is going to be a type actor and it's going to be BP inventory. Open that up, and then open your contract drawer again, right click anywhere you want, select blueprints, select structure. I'm going to call this one inventory slots. Inside your struct, you want to add a new variable, and we're going to call this one item, and the next variable we're going to call it uh, quantity. Quantity being an integer, we can't set the item yet, so let's fix that right away. In higher, let's right click anywhere you want, select a new blueprint class of type actor, call this one master item. The item in our inventory slot structure is going to be of type master item class. Now we can close out our inventory slots. In our BP inventory, we want to set a new variable of type integer, name it max slots, and also another one actually. We're going to call this one inventory slots type the struct that we just made so inventory slots we're gonna set both of these to editable and explosive spawn like so now what we're gonna do is uh, set this inventory slots to an array sorry and then on begin play what we're gonna do is resize this to fit our uh, to fit our uh, our max size right just delete these other ones on begin play, resize, and plug in your max slots. Like so. What we're going to do next is head over to our first person character or your character in question. Uh, initialize with a bin, begin play, and here we're going to spawn in our spawn actor from class, our class being our BP inventory. I'm going to show up with max slots, we're just going to put it to 7 for now. Something like that. We also need a first person reference in our inventory. So let's head back into our BP inventory and create a new variable, call it FBP ref or whatever you have. I'm using first person, so expose that and ex uh, make that editable. Head back to your first person character, refresh this blueprint. FBP ref is ourselves. What we're going to do out from uh, here. After I figure this out, there we go. Go into our HUD for a quick second. Create a into our graph. Create a new variable. Call this one inventory ref of type BP inventory. Make that an editable and expose as well. In our character, we are gonna create a new widget of type HUD of the inventory ref is our BP inventory, like so. After that, we're gonna promote HUD ref. Uh, promote to hard ref like so and then add to viewport let us go into widget blueprint for our inventory i am not a designer so this is going to look horrible 
but we're gonna try, try our best. I'm gonna add a size box. The size box is gonna be a override of 500 by 300. Inside this size box, we're gonna add a border. Inside this border, we're gonna add a scroll box. Inside this scroll box, we're gonna add a slots panel, a uh, grid panel, uniform grid panel. We're gonna call this grid panel, slots panel. And it's gonna be variable. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head into our graph for a second. We're just gonna delete all of these and then right click, type in a new custom event. We're gonna call this one initialize. When we initialize, we're going to get our slots panel. We're going to get all children. Now, I'm going to do something that might be a bit redundant. I haven't really tested it, but I'm also doing this sort of on the fly. We're going to get all children and then we're going to remove from parent. This is to double check because I'm also going to be clearing children afterwards. So I don't think. I, don't, I think this is really redundant, but just to make sure that everything is fine uh, and, and reset. Okay, so we got our inventory. Now, we need to get a hard ref in here. So let's add a new variable. We'll call this one hard ref of type WBP underscore hard. So editable and expose and spawn. Let's head into our HUD to set that, and in here we need to add our inventory. Do we need a canvas panel for that? Probably, right? Put a canvas panel for that, and then let's add our inventory to that canvas panel. Click it, size the content. I'm just going to put it in the, the middle. Click it. Go into your graph again. On your construct, get your inventory. And what you want to do is set hard ref in your inventory to ourselves. After that is done, you want to get your inventory and you want to call in it the one that we just made. We haven't set anything in it yet, but we are going to call it. Head back to your inventory, inventory blueprint, widget, widget blueprint. After we cleared everything, what we're going to do is we're going to get our hard ref, and then we're going to get our inventory ref. Out from our inventory ref, we want to get slots. Out from slot, add a for each loop, and then we want to create a new widget. We haven't made that widget yet, so just type in create widget, and then let's leave it for there, and head over to your content drawer in your interface. Uh, now we actually do have our widget slot. In our class, select your slot. Our slot needs some intel as well, intel that we have not set up yet. So head into your slot. Go into the graph, go to add a new variable, variable one being item of type master item. Add a new one, call it quantity of type integer. Expose it and editable on spawn on both of these. Like so. What we're also going to add is a hard ref of type uh, WBP HUD. Editable and expose some spawn. Is there anything else we need here? We don't need our inventory ref because we can get that from our HUD. Let's head over back into our HUD. Uh, double click inventory in, in it. When we are creating our slots, we actually need to refresh this for a second. We want to create the slot, but first of all, we need to get our HUD ref, get the uh, inventory ref, and that's not how it okay. Get our hard ref, put it in there. Then we need to figure out the quantity and we need to figure out the item. So let's get our slots, get a copy. So for each of these loops, we're gonna get a copy of, uh, we're, we're gonna create a slot and then we're gonna populate it with a copy at the index in question, right? We're gonna put a plug in the index like so. And we're gonna break this pen and we're gonna plug in our item and our quantity over there. Promote this. After we have set our slot ref, we want to add the slot to the grid. 
and then we grab in our slots panel and we type add child to uniform grid. The content is the slot. So what we're going to do is we're going to type a get a divided by and what we're going to divide it by is the get the hadref get the inventory out from the inventory we're going to get max max uh, slot now we're going to actually make a new one in our inventory a new variable we're going to call this one max horizontal slots of type integer we can also expose that if you want, so you can edit it on the fly later. What we're going to do now, though, is put it to three. So we got seven total slots, three in width. Head back into your inventory, and then we're going to get max horizontal slots. We're going to divide the array index by the max slots. And that is going to be our row. After that, we are gonna do a I'm gonna right click here and type division whole and remainder and then we're gonna plug it in and it's gonna convert it for you. We're gonna convert we're gonna have the index at the top and then our horizontal slots at the bottom. So we're gonna divide and then we're gonna get our remainder and we're gonna truncate it into the column. So we got that all set up. If we click play now, we're not going to see anything because we actually, are we going to see our inventory? We might. Yeah, so we got our inventory here. We can't actually see the slots. So let's head over to our slots in our designer. Let's add a size box. I'm going to do 72 by 72 up here. You can do anything you want really. I'm going to do 72 super 72, and then I'm going to do a border like so. Set the brush color to something a little bit different, like that. Inside this border, we're going to add a canvas panel. Inside this canvas panel, we're going to add a image. Image is going to be called item icon. Going to re resize that manually. Add a text into our canvas panel. Text is going to be called quantity text variable. Set the content text to x99 or something. The color and opacity, I'm just going to set it to like a dark gray and then add a shadow color alpha to one. And let's just put it like, like that. That's that's gonna be good enough for us. We need to actually work with our visibility settings. So the quantity is gonna be not hit testable self and children. Icon is gonna be not hit testable self and children. Canvas panel is gonna be not hit testable self only. Border is gonna be not hit testable self and children. And then the size box is what we're gonna use as visible. If I click play now nothing is actually happening. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. Head into your um, inventory. Unplug the remove from parent to the clear children. Add from completed. Then we're going to do a clear. Play. And we got our slot. I actually don't like how this looks. So I'm going to add a couple more uh, slots to this inventory. So let's head over to our BP inventory. I'm going to put max uh, horizontal slots to like five. I'm going to put inventory slots the max slots to like 50 there we go looks a little bit better so now we got our slots out here what we're going to add quickly before we uh, before we end this first part is a way to toggle this and to do that we're going to head into our first person character I'm just going to comment this out to be initialized and then i'm going to find a spot here and i'm going to do a keyboard e uh no keyboard tab sorry Actually, I'm going to need a keyboard I, but fuck it, I. Over here, I'm going to do a get from the HUD. Get the inventory. Get the visibility. That's not the right one. Visible. And then, hold on, B, make a branch. Plug that in there. 
Now, if it is visible, you want to set visibility to false, to hidden. After that, we're going to get our player controller. Set input mode, game only. And then set show mouse cursor to false. If it is not visible, we're going to make it visible. So set visibility to visible. And copy that down. Set input mode gate and UI. Game and UI. And then set show mouse uh, set show mouse cursor from our player controller. Set show mouse cursor from here. Set that. True. Head into your HUD, select your inventory, and select that to set that to be hidden. Right, so now we can toggle it and we can just go like that.